Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And at this point, I have approximately learned how long this game is. So we might finish with this episode. It's probably the last or second to last episode. But, uh, can we play the slots? Can I get the slot machine to try? Yes. Alright, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Can I try again? Of course. Of course. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go over here. No. That. Boom. There we go. Um, no. Respect to your restraints. Thank you, Tails. Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? Amy began the murder mystery. What did you do? Well, once Amy appeared Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprint. So then I went to this car and I went to the car. I walked, oh I called it, that's what I called it. Walked back through the library and saloon cars so I found it in a library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. Remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly intend to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Blow kiss. Very sweet. Playing off that heist is much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Um, can I take your order? Can I interest you in... Can I interest you to anything on the menu? Content for now, thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We can tell, you sweat out of your, your, your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. Yeah, I'm such an animated person. Wow. Did you get going? Yeah, oh yeah, we have shadow yet. Let's do it. This game is a pretty chill atmosphere. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. <laughs> it's a really funny Amy sprite. Her hair has a blood pulsing vein popping out. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... Your reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? I see you made it your tails. Do my shadow pose. Like, roll your wrists. Kind of put it on your, like the back side of your side. Like, uh, what would that be? Um, west, southwest, or west, west, south. I always figure which one's which for that. Oh, uh, anyway, that's besides the point. I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see. Oh, here's another way to put it. 8.30. There we go. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. Also, 290 degrees. <laughs> I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. I have to train so I can get to uh, be a playable character in the next Smash Bros. game. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Stormativo, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Stormativo. What's up, y'all? Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Give us a jam. <laughs> okay, 
Tales is instantly amazed. That was spiritual. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I feel reawakened. Oh my god. So much like me, for real, for real. That was funny. Music plan zone. It's a good one. Alright, what else can I click on? Can I play some Sonic the Hedgehog on here? Or a Super Monkey Ball? Virtual Fighter? They told us about this in my interview. Um, what's that other one called? I think it's around here somewhere. Nights into Dreams. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. I seem to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views though. <laughs> oh man, that's like me like looking at this computer compared to all the views in the world right now. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. And I also need the printer. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? <laughs> Sonic singing a song or Sonic rowing a boat? Uh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. Hey, I was just talking about that in Trackmania. But I won't let it stump me. <laughs> and here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. <laughs> Can we see the other one too? Uh, I think I remember what buttons to press. Uh, I can do fast, too excited. Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. Oh yeah, use PSI rocking. And there, it works like a charm. Here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Hmm. Key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is out of your inventory. Took your key ring, Shadow. Proud Tales, you have to check this out. Windows are huge. What a view. Didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? Just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. This train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. The murder, the smooth jazz, the music playing zone. I just thought the same thing. Oh yeah, that, I was like, did that line repeat itself? Did I already read that? Formativo, we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. I guess you were. Oof, better get back to the investigation. I don't know what exactly you can say the mood is of this Tails sprite, but it's really funny. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you give me a high five? Doesn't seem to be listening to you. If I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Cool high five, bro. Stermativo, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. I think I'm a celebrity and you're some random punk on the train, bro. <laughs> Refuse, tells must open it. All right, tough love, I get it. Here goes nothing. Ah, oh, just some sweaters. See, not so bad, huh? Just dusty. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Boo, ah. Sorry, I couldn't help it. 
Dermativo. I'm fragile. I'm fragile, don't hurt me. <laughs> oh yeah, so then it actually is open. That's the first time we've like interacted with the environment. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. Thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please tell us? No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Um mean interrogating her? Oh, a question for moi? You know the journalist can't be the murderer, remember? We've learned the train will confiscate any weapons brought on board. But you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, uh, birthday law. Should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. Very well. Can't take your order though. I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. No, it's okay. <laughs> Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me to be. <laughs> ask that you leave me be. If you're gonna be an Edgelord character, you have to have at least one line like that. I ask that you leave me be. I need my time to sit here in silence in the dark void we call reality. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Stermativo, we certainly will not. Don't get intimidated by his edgelordness. Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. Coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Really? Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. It's like every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Yeah, even I would have probably disagreed with that. I'd be like, bro, you still have marshmallows in your coffee, son? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I don't like marshmallows unless they've been burnt over a top of a fire, really. I don't like marshmallows in drinks that much. Mm, I don't think... Oh, we don't have enough evidence yet? What? Got equipped on everything. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, no, we didn't click on that. Oh. Uh, bingo. Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Stormativo, and you've been disappointed every time. Do you really think you can reach down the trash bin? Are you, are you willing to risk the intense amount of disappointment that two or three seconds of effort will take you to look in the trash bin? I don't really get it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This guy's just like me, for real, for real. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash? Dude, what, like, what is the deal? <laughs> this very strong concern about something as effortless as looking in a trash bin. Come on, dude, there's always something in a trash bin. <sighs> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Oh my God, there's an item in this trash bin. Color me surprised. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. 
So are we gonna see Hot Honey concert later? And is that where we find the bee guy? Since the, bee, the little bee guy is usually with Vector. He's like a little honey bee guy. Alright. I'd be interested to see if that's true. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Like, what kind of detective are you if you say, Oh man, I don't know, should we look in the trash bin? I'd be really disappointed if there's nothing in there. I think I'm just gonna just skip it, screw it. Worst detective ever, Tails. SMH bro. Why'd you come over here? Let's see if we can interrogate you. Oh, what? Are you serious? Mind blown. I did click on this, right? Yeah, you have to check out this view. Okay, we did that. Okay, computer. Something different. Okay, we don't go through the door. Uh, I think I know what we're supposed to do now. Do this first. Since I can help either of you with, ask that you leave me be. Oh wait, we did do this. Okay, did we not talk to Amy? First it took you so long to get here, I thought you wanted to save Sonic. Okay, yeah, we did that. Yeah, birthday girl gets, birthday law. Okay, so... wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Is this where you've been keeping all the dead bodies, Shadow? I mean, he did have his own video game. He used a lot of guns, so... Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. This is probably my favorite song, though. This is the library. I mean, I love libraries, so it kind of makes sense secret passage from the lounge to the library and we're straight chilling yo about to bust out freestyle on them <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> i don't believe it Shh, quick back through the passage before they spot us it was very fun love it we need to add that to our inventory. We need to add that to our inventory. It's not that exciting, Tails. Alright, whatever. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Why did you come over here? Tell me what really happened, Shadow. Shadow, we have questions for you. Do you three get out and busy? As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and... And I know why! Oh my god, Amy's stealing the show? No way. 
Pray tell, why was I locked in all the doors? Haha, <laughs> time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic is stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow is locking all the doors for one reason, and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow is trapping Sonic, and he's breaking out in a cold sweat over there. <laughs> I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Your conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. What, are you like a one mind pony in this game or something, bro? <laughs> well, my source can back up these claims. They'll remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims he never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? With Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Sturmativo and I can explain the car change, however. Sturmativo? What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Uh, probably this. No, no, this feels wrong. These are evidence shows how Sonic could have ended up at that. ended up at the dining car. Oh, this. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Oh, shoot, playing a video game inside a video game. Oh, crap, I'm not ready. Ah, oh, but I had it. Get another try. in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. Out of all the times to not use an exclamation point, Tails, why did you choose now? Why, why does such an, a pivotal moment in this interrogation have appeared instead of an exclamation point? I cannot be satisfied with that. What? A uh, secret passage? Of course Amy has the right idea. So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade. Um, excuse me, but I think you mean playing Super Monkey Ball. Stormativo, you're named after a YouTube gaming channel. You need to have proper grammar as it relates to speaking about video games. Safely ride at the dining car. Ah, oh, I lost my train of thought, whatever. <laughs> it's a visual novel, it's not like you need to keep it really. Excellent work, Stormativo. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic <clears throat> in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am. But of course, this is just a theory. I am accusing Shadow of murder with a huge smile on my face. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Uh, ha, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. Shadow is not going to talk and I'll humor you once again. Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car. And how did Espion and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Sermitiva, do you have any guesses? 
Oh, well, Espeon Vector didn't see Shadow because... Um... Espeon's reading? I believe Espeon's behind a bookshelf at a table reading. I think Shadow felt shook about that. Espeon reading in a library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you really must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow has been passing out keys? Perhaps. Thormativo and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Thormativo, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Well, there's only two keys in the key ring, right? Feels good now to get my thoughts in order. Video game inside the video game. I would say this is my favorite part of the game, but I also really like this sound. Oh my god. People say get your house in order and not get your mouse in order. Sonic and bring him to the dining car. And what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? How that are you gonna ask him? Directly? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Thermotiva and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? Tell him, Naegi. First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Is everyone today giving you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay, just them being here is enough. <laughs> Understood, thank you, Amy. Stormativo? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits. And he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? locking all the doors to keep us away. Not us, Sermitivo. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, how dare. Sermitivo, show me evidence. 
thought I was trying to keep me away. Prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow is trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? What evidence shows what Shadow... Oh, yeah, the thing you threw in the trash, right? That feels right. <laughs> Organize my thoughts. If you don't want somebody to see something, you can throw it in the trash. <laughs> Keep the music going even in this music time. So people are bad at this, so just have to listen to it. So. I mean, it is a cool song, but it's like zero kind of thing. website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yes, he, he. Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, what was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. <laughs> the situation is becoming much clearer. Yeah, Shadow was just trying to delay giving Amy her birthday present, which is concert tickets. So even though he seems like an edgelord and doesn't care about people, he actually got her like the best gift. I don't know how Kels figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. Print out of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. I'm logging on to the website. Did you print the home page by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. What, are you Sherlock Holmes tales? You, you know exactly how all this stuff happened or something? No, it's not, it's not that complicated, but... I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder... Spill everything, Shadow. Cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Oof. Ah, uh, sorry. It's all a detective job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status. I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets. So I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out. 
telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Yumi still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, don't... No, I don't know if... Too late. It's happening. E, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Ah, oh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. Expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Seems the mystery of shadowed locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow is behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Where do you investigate one last area? The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Stormativo, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Pieces are coming together, and the full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Let's do it. short break. Yeah, I'm going to take a short break, guys. Be right back.
few more songs. I wonder if the band takes requests. Can you guys play um, Say It Ain't So by Weezer? Count it then. Alright. Now or never. there when he was younger or something. I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels... empty? Cool vibe. Music. Hey, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. What the heck does that mean, Tails? <laughs> Shadow's pose here is so perfect. That's that kind of pose, you know, you're just, he's just relaxing, guys. He's just relaxing. Just, I'm just casually relaxing, guys. It kind of gives me that vibe. Like, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very relaxed. I'm casually relaxing. Look, I'm looking cool. I look really cool. My name's Shadow the Hedgehog. I look really cool. <laughs> yeah, so I really, I really appreciate that. This game's full of some great artwork. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. I hate the sentence structure there. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. He needs a grammar lesson, Stormativo. 32 years is a long time. Oh, there's been like three periods in a row. It should have been... I mean, three commas in a row should have been periods. Anyway, okay. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, I wish that too. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. I'm not a real detective, I don't care about finding evidence. Seriously, bro? Oh, wait. Uh, I thought I was gonna say the same thing as before, I didn't mean to click through all that. Dang it, bro. Whatever. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I wanna see, is it a clue? Maybe just leave Stormativo alone for a second. What? <laughs> okay. Well, we missed something there. My rapid clicking got the best of me. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. Who cares? It's all over the train sped up. Not sure it was the same on my own. His robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? The confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should lock this. Aye aye, sir. Broken robot arm. Right. Oh, that was almost hidden. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Someone brought a blow dart to a knife fight, to a gun fight something. Someone brought a blow dart to a super monkey ball fight. That'd be a good uh, episode title. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. 
Tells is right, a train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make a note of this. Blow dart. We found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Didn't I not click on those? Microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Say something, I'm giving up on you. Storm with you, why are you reaching for the mic? Oh, yeah? I love that they included that. Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Stermativo. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Are you reaching for that microphone? <clears throat> if you can hear this, your armpits stink. <laughs> Got him. My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure they are, Tails. It's just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. Boom, psh, boom, psh, psh, boom, psh. Mm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, the, uh, the tails. Dermadivo, ah. Uh. Yeah, this game is definitely modern. This game is definitely has enough cringe humor to have a modern sense to it, a modern feel to it or something. I appreciate that, respect that. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Stormativo? Ready to solve this case? No, I need to talk to Shadow first. I don't think we talked to him. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? Figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fa ha 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 ha. That's my one piece laugh. Alright, yeah, I think we can, um, do this. Yeah, I'm ready to solve the case. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. So we're going to see the whole squad. Oh, yeah, the screen is pretty full. <laughs> everyone is waiting in anticipation. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspects with assistance from Stormativo. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself, the amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. Oh, I thought he was going to read us another poem right there. Would be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. Yeah, Tails would be that guy who likes escape rooms. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. I like them a little bit. I think they're alright. I'd rather be outside. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Huh. Yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah. Ah. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He... 
He, he's not responding to us. Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. One of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Amy is angry. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? I just want to say, my appreciation of this game just went up by a like one or two points. Because the angry Amy sprite was an inevitable part of her freaking out about Sonic being dead. But this spray, I really enjoy that. Very creepy. Very like anime-ish, but like only in the sense of the pose, not like the art. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? The place is like, really bro? <laughs> I don't know why she has the really bro face right now. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. Thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic I really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Stormativo, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Really? That's, I'm surprised. I didn't think it would be this kind of thing. Um, I could probably think about this for a long time. Choose tails. That matter, please. Mm, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh well. Um, I'm putting on a spot like this. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. Mm, this room. Ah, dang it. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss it. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio is locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence. Oh, that's right. Sermitivo, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Stormativo and I can explain that too. Stormativo? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? The poet, so a quick reader. Feel is a poet. I feel such a profession would make you quite the reader. Why, thank you very much, Tails. Yes, I am a good reader. And also a poet. <laughs> what are you getting at? 
He picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That is absurd, memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. This dude is particularly skilled. I think that's been a long time. He once speak read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Ah, uh, that's right. How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Thermotivo and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Thermotivo, who here has the evidence to prove SBO knew about the hidden passage? Um, Amy? Wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint. Told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Who here has evidence to prove SBO knew about the hidden passage? It's Rouge the Bat, the Blue Prince. Those blueprints. Blueprints? You still blueprints? Could be. Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up and came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are out of your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. I see it could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Stormativo, do you have an answer for him? How could SBO have seen his blueprint? Um... This one? Ruby, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. Check the saloon car first and found the blueprints through it. And found the blueprints after leaving. So that means SBO had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. And stay hydrated while streaming, guys. Highly recommend. In my theory, SBO looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Stormativo and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Stormativo and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? It was by using this broken robot arm. my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Stormativo. What would Sonic do? He would grab rings. So let's grab some rings. Cool. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. 
would have had to take the hidden passage back. Take the hidden passage back. Oh, he'd end up back in the library. Some of Tivo and I know another way it could have been done. We, we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Um... Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Stomatibo, think. Play Sonic, Stomatibo. Big oof. Give it another try. You're really good at video games to beat that, but you have to be like kind of good. Alright, take a look. Bethio didn't take a secret passage to get to the dining car. What route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a pass above the conductor car. It goes all the way to the dining car. Uh, I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? And then Espio comes in and he's like, Oh, well actually, yeah, it is a long attic. Like, how do you know that? Oh, caught you right there. Thought it was gonna be that for a sec. According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? Honey? The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. Allow me. You're a smart kid. I knew you realized we both couldn't fit up there. This be is right. This be in flimsy tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth did I get Sonic through that vent? Mm, robot arm? Phew, I had to think about my argument. You can do this, Jeremy though. You can do this. Nice one. 
Everyone really saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these robot arms is the casual team. So what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a trap that robot arms use that continues through the vent. The robot arm should have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. His arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. But you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SPO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Kind of inconsistency. Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SPO. Who received that information? Shadow? Amy? Amy received the hot scoop. Oh, yeah. Amy received the hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right. SBO lied to me. SBO told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. The scoop came from you, SBO. No, oh, of course not. Amy must have misheard you. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SPO. W what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? But you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ah, and now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? Time for you to get the hammer to the horn, boy. I believe the murderer used the train control to move Sonic from the conductive car to the dining car. He lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. I'm examining everyone's alibis. I don't think there needs to be an apostrophe there. But alibis. I'm examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakness. I believe it's clear to everyone that you're the faker. It only could have been one person. It was you, SBO. You, SBO. <laughs> you were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. He's alive. Hey guys, Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and we just solved the mystery. Or, I mean, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart though, really? It's non-lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. SPO left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Do you want to beat Nick? A bad Nick? Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Flicky, the tiny animal? <laughs> There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. 
he refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad neck. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. But um, Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting on my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SBO. SBO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop, what are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. Arms came for me next. I spin that right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, at least he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pinned me to the floor. Ah. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> Sonic's like, ah, oh, you murdered me? The situation has got to be so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You were not playing the murder game. You were, you did a murder mystery inside of a murder mystery game. In bad faith, SBO. You're the weakest link, goodbye. Shoot someone with a blow dart and they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart and Sonic is stationed in the conductor car. Replaced with a non lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. See? What is that? It says, use this blow dart and Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing it. No. Tails, why did you just make me leave that I just read already? What is this? Instructions? I was given a blow dart along with that card. Sign staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, it was this guy who looked kind of like an egg with really skinny legs. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who? Or what? Sorbativo, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. Come out and show yourself. Amy. It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm -hmm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying. The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. 
ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Yeah, as if it would be that easy. Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Wah! No, 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 I can't keep my footing. Ah, oh, I'm gone. This game took a pretty exciting twist. It's the murder mystery ending. This is a reprise of the theme we heard earlier. Mm, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, ah, my head. Tails, Amy, uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. I just got butted by Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm dead. The murder of Stormy Tivo. Sonic, I'm so sorry, uh, are you okay? Hanging in there, it seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. Where's everyone else? Uh, great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? OMG, guys. I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. Alright, more clicking on stuff. That yellow glow is chilling. I this one was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. <clears throat> hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You've got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Ho ho ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You own a train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, uh, ignoring that. I certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So, I courageously got involved. <laughs> it's a great picture of him. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg? Doctor Predictable? The people fear giant spheres. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. And you managed to make the train quite upset. Do you not know this is happening? Evans, no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. You report to me if any of you happen to board. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Well, that's a whole philosophical argument you can make. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking I needed to ma manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Uh. He wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train. It may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? 
When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. I already do get lost. <laughs> Ciao. Always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? Train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. I didn't try hard enough. I didn't try hard enough. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I have full here. Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I... Well, okay. I get it, the road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living, dude. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Haha. <laughs> okay, you're right. Keep moving forward and make things right. Ah, oh, okay. Gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Uh, what would Sonic do? I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, what would you do? Sorry, today, Bells and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue my heart. And rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Bang, bang. Wow, with one big mind up, it's not a spin that was fast enough to get the door open. Heh, <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your points. Hold on to, hold on to your points. Don't know why I said that. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Better hold on to those points if you want to get the high score. Let's do it. But let, let's do it to it. I hate people say that. There are a lot of phrases in the English language. I'm just like... Please don't. <laughs> but I'm going to it anyway. That's the spirit. If you want to be extra, extra cringe, read extra, extra, read all about it, levels of cringe, go find our friends to the conductor car to end this mystery. Well, it seems like a good stopping point. This has been kind of a long episode. Oh, all right. Our friends are locked up in the cars ahead. Well, I can't resist more of this, though. My last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. I feel like we're in the last chapter now, so I shouldn't stop. I should figure that out before. There's a little game here. Hey, I'm so speed to fly. Boom. Wait till I see Eggman, I'm gonna clobber him. I'm gonna deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna go do that like ball too hard or whatever this thing is. But for that moment I was not the go. You all came for us, of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. Our reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Ah, uh, they ran read us another poem. The poem where he apologizes for murdering Sonic. Would have been such a beautiful poem. No doubt in my mind. What?
Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move, you two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Doctor's car. See no more. Let's go. Hurry to me! I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg, too. You know, why not just uh, treat myself? Um. Don't turn us into robots. Oh ho ho, haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is everyone, get ready. We're taking this thing down. Um, oh. I was like, it was a different game. It's really cute how the robot runs are coming out though, I love that. possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring, you just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's 
of being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> Using a robot arm is bad vector. Touching story. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? I wish, my wish, my wish, error, error. May the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? This when I told you we'd be. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. The rescue conductor if we ever want to stop this train. One more mission for the boys. Boss fight. Boss fight boss, but it's not a boss fight. Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad Nick. Stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him on it. Let's show our full power. Oh, we were showing our full power on those last ones. Happiness comes at the expense of others. 
and also you're a robot and a conducted a living being, so who do you think we're going to prioritize, mate? That's a pet that's called being selfish. Me. Selfish. How dare you. How dare you. This one's on your brain. for ruining my birthday. Nice shot. <laughs> so much good art of Amy in this game, it's really funny. Is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. Haha, <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I, I just zzz, couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry zzz, for the tr tr trouble. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. 
I mean, um, I try to say it a little less robotic voice. <clears throat> Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together before you turned into a freaking psycho. I love how they gave him an expression here and then he realized it's a face. He's like, wow, I put you guys through a lot of shit and I'm so sorry. And he's like, oh my god, that was crazy. The usual Sonic happy look. Some more art of the squad. We did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. Over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. I'm only gonna agree with you if there's no text boxes after that. Hmm, no, it's not over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? <laughs> I think I'm actually going to miss the group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Fa ha ha ha. You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Fa ha 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 ha. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. Oh, my heart is broken by this grammar choice. Yeah, I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Uh, I think I can find double tick there. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Fa ha ha, an old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Seems that Fucky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, SBO. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously? A dart? Really, bro? <laughs> it would have been hard to get close to you otherwise. Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? This station has a bakery, and look what I bought. Look what I bought. Ah, birthday cake. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an inventor of a birthday, darling. Memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. <laughs> a ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I really like the Blaze um, art here. I feel like she looks the coolest. <laughs> and Sturm and Tebow is like, oh wait, is that me? And we finally get another Espia poem. That's something I've been very much waiting for. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. Oh wait, did it sound like I said ass? No, wait, but, uh, let, me, let me start over. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if a personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys, ah. Almost got murdered by a lonely train, but... But... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. 
Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please, dig in everyone, yay. I hope it's chocolate. Shadow hopes the cake is chocolate. Oh, we got an epilogue for these guys. <laughs> let's go dad shirts. That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath. Happy rubber duck or the angry one. Angry! Sour toys, your evilness. Shut it! And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. Sonic and Amy, they got married and Tails continued to have a long career as a detective. They ended up calling him Tails, Sherlock, Miles, Holmes, per hour. Happy ending, good times. As for me, I... quit my job and then practice my singing and after all that I now run a local supermarket yeah that's just been my life great work team very cool game the Hedgehog visual novel, but it had really good art from what I saw, interesting premise, just the pre- like, even not counting the premise in the trailer and the title, like, just the premise of, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog visual novel, it's all I needed to have me hooked, and, um, yeah, I'm glad I played it. It's pretty much the first visual novel I play on the stream, and, uh, that genre is somewhat lacking currently in the video games world, but there's a trilogy of visual novels I really like, called Danganronpa, so I'll probably play those at some point. Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't want to do that. Alright. Putting the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog in the folder where games go to die. But I'm glad I played this game, recorded it for YouTube. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching it, and you're enjoying watching the credits and me uh, see my closing thoughts on this. The second game I've complete, second uh, Sonic game I've completed for the gaming channel, which is kind of crazy because I'm not really a huge Sonic gamer. But anyway, I gotta do more classic fighting game stuff because that's what's gonna get all my views really. So. I'm glad about it because I like to make like those kind of videos. Yeah, we couldn't have made a video game without a social media manager. Of course, that's essential. Days it pretty much is, unfortunately. It's gonna be the stormative social media manager. It's not gonna be me. No, actually, it is me. I probably won't ever renounce my title.
feel like a Marvel fan waiting to watch the credits so we can see the post credits scene. I guess I'm gonna be like Stormativo, like when, when you get the chance to grab a radio in a train full of characters in the Sonic universe, what would you do? <laughs> yeah, that, that was one of my favorite parts of the game, it was really funny. But anyway, yeah, it just goes back here once you finish the game, so I, I'm the king, I'm the king of the Sonic universe up here. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, that was my fun moment. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Let me know down in the comment section below if you like this and if you want to see more stuff like this or what games you want to see me play or something. <laughs> and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, thanks for the support. Stay tuned for more great content.